another book review. And we are going to discuss Duke Actually by Jenny Holiday. This book was super cute. Um, I love that it dabbles in a little bit of royalty. I love that it dabbles in um, basically switching roles. Um, this book was super cute, not too bad of a read. Um, I finished it within about 16 hours because you didn't want to put it down. There was a lot of cutesy moments. There was a lot of giggle moments. It wasn't really a laugh out loud comedy, but it was cute. I would have to rate it a 4 out of 5 only because there was some parts that I felt could have been taken out, kind of slowed down the pace of the story. But starting from the beginning, this book is basically following two people who are in a royal wedding. Um, their best friends are marrying each other, so um, basically Max is the uh, man of honor, whereas Danny is the best woman. Um, Basically, they met over the summer, and this follows their relationship as they get to know each other. Danny um, is still basically coming out of a divorce, so all she is trying to do is handle um, the ins and outs of coming out of divorce, as well as trying to become a tenure professor, whereas Max is a baron who has the reputation of being an utter, utter playboy. So, um, I'm guessing... Like, I thought, well, how, why are these two intertwined? Well, Max became smitten of Danny when they met each other at the same time that their best friends became engaged. So, he was obviously stricken by her. So, he comes to New York, her home turf, and basically just tries to get to know her. While getting to know her, he starts falling for her. And basically, it becomes a decision of, does he continue his Playboy status? Or can he actually commit to one woman to fall and truly fall in love with her and be with her? And Danny um, is basically just trying to figure out how to get Max to leave her alone because she's already dealing with one divorce. She's not trying to deal with anything else uh, crazy in her life. I love this story. It was so hilarious to read. Um, I finished this about a week ago. And it's definitely on a reread list for me. Um... I love the fact that it shows you kind of an insight on how the royals feel about their duties and um, especially in modern times, uh, trying to fulfill their duties with people seeing them through one way, you know, basically to be via the media lens versus who they truly are and what their wants are and all their obligations of basically who, of basically what their obligated to do based off of their birth if I, I hope that makes perfect sense <laughs> um for example max is um uh, basically max's duties are because he's the oldest son that once his father dies he has to be a duke so his parents are uh, of course trying to encourage him to find his duchess danny is a woman of course she uh, um, she's a professor she's been teaching um teaching lectures for over 10 years um, um, without spoiling the story at all, she's divorcing her husband for, I'm not going to say reasons, and the last thing she wants is some royal, obligated, media-filled, uh, person interfering with her life when she's just trying to get her life back on track. Um, I love how, um, down to every supporting character, even the dog, whose name is Max as well, they're included in the story to the point where you, it gives you enough that you understand why they're there, but it doesn't give you enough where you're like, oh, I hope there's a spinoff. Um, all their supporting characters on Danny's side and Max's side are perfectly explained, perfectly supportive, and do their job. I also love how um, Jenny Holiday gives you their um, perspectives without taking it from a one point perspective, if that makes complete sense. The, the narration that the narration and the point of view that she chose was perfect to explain the story to the point where I understood what was going on. I felt like I was within the story. I understood their feelings, their emotions. I understood even when they got nervous. Um, it was a book that you can really relate to without having to say, oh, I know what it's like to catch, get, uh, catch the eye of somebody royal if that makes sense. But um, 
I would say this book would be perfect to read around Christmas. It definitely, it definitely gives Love Actually vibes. It, um, some of the, some of the parts in the, um, story involve Christmas. So, I would definitely say save this one for a Christmas time read. Because it'll just fit the mood of the season. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, please subscribe.